Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,222. Hey, if you want to download this work, 1,221 to 1,223 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a column of weights. There we go, and there we go. However, when I try to add up this column, I get zero. But when I try to add up this column, I get the correct total. What in the world is going on? Now, let's scroll over here, and let's just try this. Alt equals is the keyboard for auto sum. I'm going to click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down arrow. Shift, Enter to put that in the cell and push the cursor up. Now here, this is never going to work, because if you come over here and hit F2, someone has typed 4, 4, and a KG. That means there's text and numbers. Some function is not going to do that. Not only that, but this is deceiving because it doesn't have the default alignment for text. So someone came up and actually in the home ribbon added right alignment to make it look like a number. Now, if I come over here, Alt equals, these are simply numbers. I click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down arrow to highlight all the way to the bottom, and then Shift, Enter to put the formula in the cell and push the cursor up. Now here we're just adding numbers. But over here we have text, and we will see how to deal with this, because sometimes you do get this situation. But over here, we want to display these numbers with the kg, but allow them to remain numbers so that the sum function can add them. So I'm going to click in the top cell, Control, Shift, Down arrow to highlight all the way to the bottom. Control 1 to open up format cells. And number formatting is what we want. We come all the way down to the bottom and click on Custom. Now in the Type text box, we highlight it. And we can see the default number formatting in general. Now I'm going to type a 0. And I always want it to display the text KG. So in double quotes, KG and double quotes. And you can immediately see the number formatting appear. That means any number we type into the cell in this column will show on the surface of the spreadsheet KG, but the number will still be underneath. There's our preview. When I click OK, it works perfectly. The sum function is looking at numbers, because those are numbers in the cell. And just the KG is displayed on the surface with custom number formatting. Now, what in the world do you do over here? What if you really had to keep that there? Or this was a data dump or something like that, and you, you couldn't get rid of the KG? Well, we can do something pretty tricky here. We could actually add an extra column and teach ourselves how to use the substitute function. Now, substitute can take something from a text string and remove it or substitute something for it. So I'm going to say, hey, there's the text, comma. The old text I want to get rid of is double quote, KG, and double quote, comma. And the new text I want is double quote, double quote. That is a zero length text string. And for us inside of substitute, it just means put nothing, close parentheses. Now watch this. When I Control Enter, it's immediately got the default alignment for text because the F2 substitute function is spitting out text. We don't want that, because if I was to say equals sum and point towards a text item, well, sum is programmed to ignore text. Well, F2, we can convert any number stored as text back to a number by doing any math operation. I could do times 1 divided by 1, double negative, but I'm going to add 0. Notice it's a math operation that won't change the value of the number. So it's just the math operation to convert it back to a number. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now notice, if I were to click in the top cell, F2, Enter, F2, Enter, F2, I actually have to get the substitute to look at every single one of those numbers. Now I don't want this extra helper column. I actually want to do this over in the cell. So watch this. I'm still going to use the substitute function. The text, I'm going to highlight the whole column. Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Now check this out. That text argument is expecting a single text string. I just gave it a bunch. The fact that I gave it a bunch of items means we're doing an array operation. That means we're telling substitute to do 
the substitution on all the different items. That means when we evaluate this, substitute will spit out lots of answers. Now, comma, old text, I'm still looking for kg in double quotes, comma, I'm still substituting nothing back in, close parentheses, plus 0. Now, if I hit Enter, it'll show me the first one, but not all of them, because an array formula like this that's delivering many items can't display them all once in one cell. But check this out. I can highlight this. And in Edit Mode, hit the F9 key to prove to myself that it actually successfully converted all of those to proper numbers. Control-Z. Now my goal is to add, if I put them inside the sum function, because that's an array operation, I'd have to do the special keystroke control shift enter. And I don't want to do that. I know that there's another function besides sum, sum product. Now normally sum product takes multiple arrays, multiplies all the arrays, and then adds. But guess what? That array argument can totally understand that array operation. So by only using one array, it will only do the sum. So anytime you have an array operation and your goal is to add, you can simply put it in sum product and then hit Enter. And just like that, we get our correct answer. Now, you don't want all these, so you highlight the top and hit the Delete key. And instantly, we've gone from a column of numbers and text and added just the numbers. Over here, we went ahead and added all of these with a custom number formatting, but we didn't have to do a special formula because the sum function's looking under the number formatting at the actual numbers. All right, we'll see you next trick.